the uh, Grangemouth Stadium. This is the janitor here, showing off his hometown, where it all began. Where it's all from. What fuels this furious, passionate player to furiously, passionately play and swear at people. But yeah, uh, basically, I've just reached the outskirts of Grangemouth in my money saving walk from Pullman. So I thought, why not indulge all you lovely, lovely people with the a CGI view of walking through Greensmouth to CJ's house. Now you won't see any landmarks like, you know, where I work or anything, because I don't want you to come and chip me, take all my fat sandwich monies, but eh, we can show off some things. Basically, uh, what have we got here? This is the Greensmouth Stadium, right? Where uh, I myself have participated in many many events, uh, most notably there was a there was an obstacle race I was in once uh, came third top two qualified I was mad salty I've also participated in other games here of course the uh, the Celtic Cup is contested from you know different Celtic states and nations as uh, they usually usually played in the Greensburg Stadium when it happens I, off the top of my head, don't know when it happens, or how often it happens, or why it happens, but yeah, apparently people from Scotland come around and participate in sports to do things. So my question is, why don't we participate in fighting game things? Get Greensmouth and Falkirk and Scotland play more fighting games, that's what we want. But anyway, here we go. We're walking up here. This is the uh, pumping station, uh, aptly named as it is a a uh, frequently used finger and spot for the for the younger lovers of this town. And over there, that white building is the new Grangemouth High School. Uh, sadly that was not the one I was taught and I can't actually go and show you that one because it's now being levelled and it's just oh well, it's just dust and rubble now. Mainly because once they realized they knocked it down the year or two after I was gone, because once they realized I was gone, you know. The building that I loved is just, man. It was just there to make me better and shit. But anyway, as we continue, we've got some flats here, some houses. Try not to get the, trying to get the children on camera because that's a slightly not right. Uh, these are these are luxurious flats that the many a person has uh, stayed in. These are the less luxurious ones, but the, unfortunately the, the luxurious ones are going to get knocked down, but I don't know if you can see this. There's still people living in it. And they're scheduled to get knocked down quite soon, so... Uh, that's going to suck for them. That's going to suck for them, big time. But anyway, you probably can't even hear me because the, the camera's pointing the wrong way, and and there's traffic going on, and it's just after the schools have gone out and shit, but fuck it. I'm going to carry on, see if I recognise anyone in this town. Nobody in this town recognises my awesomeness, so there's the, the number three bus. The number three, of course, uh, number I'm not strange to it, as I was born on the third of the third. Probably annoying some people taking food to the bus, but whatever. We proceed onward to uh, more flats. As you can see, not much goes on in this town. It is just usual mix of shit and people making their way home. Anyway, I'll uh, put a thunder on this. Okay, you can see this is a road. We have many of these roads in town. See someone trying to get that flat there. Pavement. Gratings. We do love our uh, pavements and gratings and uh, we do love to, to personalise the drain things here. Uh, the birds too love to personalise stuff. Uh, anyway, as you can see, more flat stuff. Probably is the least exciting route you can take through the town. Uh, but who cares? Anyway. <sighs> is, there, is there much else you can say about this town? that uh, has not already been said in this video, probably. 
probably, but looking at the town itself, it speaks volumes. It speaks volumes, not only not only speaks volumes for you know the town itself, but also speaks volumes in where I've come from and what I am. And taxi drivers swooping in front of me, turning around, but luckily blocking the road so I can cross it. See, see, see now I crossed the road there where the where the taxi driver was blocking it for other people to turn in and that was because, you know, it's because I've learned through life and playing fighting games to, to take every opportunity you can and punish mistakes. But also make sure you stay safe, you know. You know, sure. You may think it was risky me crossing the road like that, but the fact is I knew the frame data of the taxis turning animation, the the active frames of the turn, the the recovery frames of the turn before it pulls away and in fact the block stone in which the other car was under when it couldn't turn around. So I knew that I was free to not only assess the situation but look and punish accordingly. And I punished by crossing the road where most normal people wouldn't. See, that's what it's all about guys. You just got to take your opportunities when they come up and just got to pounce on them. But anyway, you know, how, how, how many of you are actually still here in this uh, six minutes, Kershaw Bank Avenue? These six minutes that I have, I've recorded of unadulterated tripe and crap. Where I'm just saying whatever the fuck I feel like saying. Now I have to wait. You see, can't cross your, can't cross your uh, that that car turning attack. It hits hard, as the coaches, right? Do not underestimate the power of how hard a coach hits. That was also a school bus. I may have taken footage of a school bus. Hopefully no one was on it. And that doesn't look as dodgy as it sounds, but yeah. I may have took a couple second look of a school bus. Oh dear. Anyway, you can see. That's uh, Charlotte and Das Court. It's uh, one of the many little shopping centres uh, dotted around town. You can buy uh, many, many minis there. Uh, there's the Grange, it's a public bar. Uh, it's, a, it's definitely a popular hangout. It's also got a, a function suite. Yes, that's right. The Grange has a function suite. So, uh, where there's function suites, there could be tournaments. Just saying, you guys. Just saying. Anyway, there's the uh, Kershaw Bank project down there. Again, buildings where you can host many, many events and shit. So, who knows? In fact, there could be more fighting game events in Grangemouth. That one man can undertake, most likely not, as this place is fucking annoying to get to. It smells. Uh, the sky, the sky may look grey, but that is actually the pollution from the BP, slowly killing us all. But rest assured, if there is a house fire, I can probably save you from it before the fire engine gets there, before the breathing apparatus. So, yeah, you might want to invite me to more house parties, people. Because if shit goes down and the flames get higher, I am there to carry all of your guests out. <sighs> so out of breath, man. I should really, really not fit, man. This is this is why most of my exercise is just done in the fingers, you know. Like yeah, I train train hard, train a hard, dedicated way. But unfortunately, it doesn't do much for the actual cardio there, does it? No, it doesn't. But anyway, you can see this is uh, this is one of the many old people homes that we've got in this town as well. This town is filled with old people and they are a wealth of knowledge and experience. And when the time comes and I am shipped off into one of these lovely, lovely establishments, kids from around this area will no doubt be playing Street Fighter 13, DOA 7 and Marvel vs Capcom 3 Ultimate X. The third strike edition. And we'll be thinking, damn, you know, we've we've heard of these legendary players from all across the world, but there is none around. But they would be wrong. They would be so wrong as in fact there would be one living in their midst, pissing in a nappy, unable to do anything for himself except when a Mad Cat's TE or any of Hori's fine sticks that they are sending us is put in front of him 
and he's transformed from a seemingly useless, piss-stained, shit-smelling old fart into a real-life Gokin. A real-life Gokin. I want you to think about that and let it sink in. Yeah, that's, that's a lot to take in. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jana, CG, Christopher, anybody who's watching this who knows me, why are you doing this and why are you talking? We're going with Jana on episode of Star Trek, the original one. And the reason is, I'm out of breath, I'm out of puff, air is not getting to my brain as the blood vessels and the muscles need it more for me to carry on and soldier on. And I'm just going to talk all that crap about my town. So anyway, this is the Zetland Park. It's a vast and expansive park surrounded mainly by flats filled with junkies and arseholes. So as you can tell, when the summer hits and it's t-shirt weather, they spill out and the park is filled with junkies and arseholes. Yeah, many a times we've had to run from junkies and arseholes to escape a beating. A beating from junkies and arseholes. But from escaping these beatings, I've learned things like how to escape invincible back dashes and DHC and into friends and watching them get their ass kicked. But also, as you can see probably off in the distance, the signature blue and red. Now I don't I don't use these colours, mainly because I could not do justice to the actual majestic awesomeness that is the Greenwich Mouth Sports Complex and this wonderful swimming pool and excellent flims. It may not be the time capsule, but it is a time capsule for my happy memories in my heart. And over there is where all the posh houses are. Houses where once I win fat tournament money I will be living in. Because I don't want to leave this town. No, actually I do. But I say I don't. I want the people to think that I'm fighting for them, but I'm not. But they won't watch this video because no one cares about me. Only you guys, you guys who are watching it, actually care about me. And that warms my heart. And that warms my heart. But yeah, I live in a big house like that. I want to get my fat to my money, but until then, we go by. That is the play park. Zoomed all the way out because I don't want to get in trouble for recording the play park. But basically, as you can tell, it's got swings. Swings are good for getting you to jump high. Getting you to jump high is the basis of super jumps and thus the basis of putting Marvel and King of Fighters and other games of super jumps. But not only that, you also learn to land safely, to not get hurt while landing, thus learning the art of the safe jump. As you can see, being a child has trained everybody up to be a fighting game player. It's just people People just don't embrace these advantages that they've been given in life. And it is a shame. A horrible, horrible shame. Anyway, there's a there's a pond there. It's empty. But at one point it was full. And when it was full in winter, it was iced over. And when it was iced over, you could walk on the ice. But not only could you walk on the ice, but you could feel the ice crack from between you, from beneath you, coming away from you, and you'd have to what would you have to do? You'd have to react to that. Thus, learning the reactions. Another key, key element to being an expert fighting game player. And here, as a child, you could walk this, you could cycle. No, you could go-kart and cycle and run on this road that was made for go-karts and, and car, go-karts and bikes. You could cycle it. But it taught you one thing. It taught you two main things, really. It taught you two things that people value mostly in fighting games. Control. How does this game control? How can I control my characters? What are the controls? Button checks. Checking your gears. Checking your wheels. Playing with a stick. Playing with a bike. All things that need to be done in order to be a top competitive player and you learn that. But not only that, but you learn balance. That thing that everybody whines about. Do you know the most balanced game in life is? Cycling unless you're falling over, because you've got no balance. Therefore, you're playing and you're hitting the floor and that hurts. And that's what happens when you play a super unbalanced game. You fall to the floor and it hurts. But then, you fight through this and make it balanced. Make it better. Therefore, every game can be balanced, like a bike. 
Balance is important. Remember that. Remember that well. If you don't remember that well, yeah, it's probably not that important. Anyway, other other key things. There's houses here. There's a road. There's grass. All elements that not only make up the park, but also the stages. The stages that are in the game. Because the stages are where you play stage size, walls, stage traps, ring outs. All these things are important. Majorly important. You need to learn. And that's why life itself is training for fighting games. As you can see, this is a crazy golf park. It's not the one I'm used to. The one I'm used to got grassed over. But it was bigger, badder, and more colourful. Except they didn't have that look. That's, that's actually quite bitching. But apart from that, yeah, it was better, it was badder, it was a whoop. But it taught you precision, direction, but also taught you, you could, you could use these walls to bounce the ball off, to think outside the box, to not follow the curve of everybody else, like everybody else would. Thus, learning that not always the top tier strategy is the best sometimes. you got to think and do a little differently to, to get past it all. Here we go, here's the burn. Here's the burn. The long river that you can sail down to success. But only if you want it hard enough. And, uh, well you can't really, it's, it's too shallow. Can't really sail down that. But you could wade in it. You could wade in it and it would be tougher than walking. And it could be an allegory for the tough walk to success. So really, you know, it's all good. It works out as, an, as, a, as a sort of, you know, metaphor yeah here we go there's an ambulance there ambulance car because that's where you go when you get bodied but anyway i'm nearly home and i've rambled on for 16 minutes so really thanks very much for watching this was grangemouth where fighting game players are born and made